Hello friends, do you have stuff in your refrigerator that's gonna go bad? Or stuff that you froze a month ago that you have no idea what to do with it? Well, clean out your freezer, clean out your refrigerator, and make these delicious barbecue packet meals. If you're curious, then stay tuned and see what I made. They're perfect for Memorial Day, perfect for any barbecue. If you don't have a barbecue, perfect for the air fryer or for the oven as well. So stay tuned and watch this video. Hello everyone and welcome back to my video. If you're looking at this right now, you're probably saying, what the heck is she making? Well, I did a full refrigerator and freezer clean out where I had in my freezer some zero point sauce. I had a bag of, a half a bag of frozen onions, a half a bag of these peppers with onions and celery, whatever that combo was. I had in my freezer some grilled chicken that I had made in a Ziploc bag. I had some, oops, I had some uh, turkey sausage that I had frozen. Uh, there was only two sausage. I had uh, one chicken cutlet in a bag cleaned up that I just chopped up and added, uh, you know, I love my Goya Saison and some garlic and some black pepper. I had in another freezer bag a little bit of ground turkey. Um, I had a pineapple in my refrigerator that was in there for a while that I, uh, you know, opened up today and, and diced up. These are the refried beans that I made uh, last, in last week's video. I had two mangoes that were sitting in my refrigerator that were kind of almost going bad, so I cleaned those. I had two ears of corn. So this is raw that I shucked, and I took the corn off the cob. I had a, a cup, uh, a zucchini and a yellow squash. So I had quite a bit of stuff. I had this pasta that I had frozen in my freezer because I made too much pasta at one time. And this is the zero point barilla um, thin spaghetti or angel hair, whatever it is. So I'm going to make some packet meals today. So what you do is you just get, and you can put whatever you want. I'm going to do a several different kinds. And these are going to go right on the barbecue, you guys. So if you want to make some packet meals that are zero points and have it all ready in the packet and you just have to throw it on the barbecue, or you can throw it in your air fryer, or you can throw it in your oven and cook it for about 20 to 25 minutes, does it matter if the ingredients are already cooked? If they're raw, you put them all together in a nice little tin foil packet, cook it, and then you open up the packet and you dump it on your plate and you have a full meal for zero points. Of course, if you're using the um, what do you call it? The turk the turkey sausage, one turkey sausage is three points. Basically, everything else here is zero points. So I'm just going to quick make for you, I'm going to, uh, I'm making quite a few. I'm doing a meal prep and I'm going to make quite a few and I'm going to cook them all and I'm just going to have the packets inside, like I could put them in a big Tupperware and just pull one out for a lunch, for a dinner, whatever I want. So let's get into the video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to have your tin foil. So you want a nice big piece. If you want to double it, you can. This is pretty sturdy um, tin foil. And this is already um, non-stick tin foil. So if you want to spray your tin foil a little bit, you can. Also, if you have any cheese and you want to put some cheese, you can add whatever you want. So for my first packet meal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down some vegetables first. Now, when I flip it out, I want to get the, you know, the vegetables on the top, the meat on the bottom, maybe the pasta, or if you have brown rice, that will be in the middle. So you got to think when you flip it over, what is, you know, what's going to be on the top. So I'm just going to lay down some zucchini. 
I'm going to add, I don't know, let's throw in some corn. I made a whole bunch of these yesterday at my mom's house for my niece, Megan, for the week for her food. She's a nurse. And um, this way she can just take the packet, dump it on a paper plate, and heat it in the microwave at the, at the hospital. So we could throw down some corn. I also have some uh, peppers here that were in my refrigerator that I didn't use for a while. And I didn't want them going bad. So, yeah, this is like a refrigerator, freezer clean out. And you can add whatever you want. Make it your own. You know I love my jalapeno. I'm going to throw a little jalapeno on here. So let's do this one. Let's do it with some turkey sausage. Now, I already seasoned my chicken. And I already seasoned my raw um, turkey, ground turkey. So first, I'm going to put some zero-point pasta down. So let's make like a tropical one here. I have some pineapple. Let's put some pineapple on top of this. The pineapple will go very well with the, with the green peppers. I have some mango here. Let's put some mango. You can even put some of that nice mango juice or the pineapple juice. And just be careful if you're going to be touching your chicken, you know, if you have pineapple and all that left over, you don't want to be touching your chicken and then touching your mango or your pineapple that you're going to, you can eat when it's fresh, you know, without cooking it. So, all right. So now because sweet and heat goes together so well. Let's put some crushed red pepper. Of course, some fresh chopped garlic. You want to season everything. Let's add a little bit of salt. I'm actually going to put some mango. Love me some mango. And some pineapple. I wanted more mango, actually. I did put some already. So that jalapeno and that fruit is going to be delicious. Let's add a little bit of black pepper. I had a little bit of salsa left in the jar. Let's add some salsa to this. And now let's add our ground turkey. So you could put as much as you want. And I'm just going to close up these packets. And I'm going to put them on the grill. And then I'm going to open up a few at the end of the video and show you which one I'm going to have for my lunch today. And like I said, if you're doing a barbecue for Memorial Day, make up some packets ahead of time. Just throw them on the grill. You can put whatever you want. And bam. So there's my first packet. So now... I'm going to put a little more salsa. Now you're just going to take it and you're going to fold it over. And then you're going to fold it this way so nothing drips out as you're cooking it. And if you have a black magic marker and you want to right on it what it is you can i'm just making uh these like ahead of the time prep prep for my week's food now the next one let's take another piece of foil i'm gonna put down some zucchini again i am going to put down i'm gonna make this one with sauce with my zero point sauce let's put down some green peppers Let's take our spaghetti. You have brown rice, use brown rice. On top of the spaghetti, I'm going to be putting some of my sauce. This was my zero point sauce that I had frozen. Yeah, I had just way too many Tupperware containers in my freezer. 
in my refrigerator. I'm like, what the heck is in, you know, in all these containers? So I just want to get rid of everything. Let's take some of this mixture, which is the onions and the peppers and the celery. There's some broccoli in there. And now let's take some of this chicken, which I seasoned with the uh, Goya and some fresh chopped garlic. And this is raw chicken, but everything's going to cook in the packet. And when you open it up, you're going to be amazed how all the flavors from the chicken will drip into the pasta and the vegetables. And it's going to be fabulous. And you know I love my spice. I'm going to add a little salt. You know I love my spice, so I'm actually going to add a little bit more garlic. And a jalapeno or two. You don't have to put that on if you don't want. These are going to steam. And when they steam, all these flavors are going to marry with each other. My niece, Brittany, had a nice little barbecue to introduce the family to um, my her sister, my niece Desiree's uh, newborn son, baby Nicholas. He's so cute. I'll insert a picture right here so you can see him. Beautiful little boy. And so she made these packet meals for everybody at the barbecue. She cooked them on the barbecue. And what she did, I'll make one and I'll show you what she did. She did it Mexican style and it, they were delicious. So I said, oh, what a great idea. So shout out to Brittany for this wonderful idea. And when you just have so much stuff in your freezer and your refrigerator that you want to get rid of, this is the perfect way. So that's two packets already made. So the next one, okay, the next one, I'm just going to do some peppers down first. Don't think I want zucchini in that one. I definitely want some onions. Let's throw down some onions. I'm going to throw down the pasta. Now, really, this one, I would put down brown rice if I had brown rice, but I don't. So, and each pasta is like about a, a, a third to a half of a cup. Let's get the some of these nice, beautiful refried beans on here. Zero points again. If you had, if you don't, like refried beans, you can put open up a can of black beans or regular pinto beans in the can. You could put chickpeas, whatever you want. <clears throat> Let's throw some corn on top of that. So just picture black beans, uh, brown rice, peppers, onions. Let's throw some more garlic. Let's throw some jalapeno. Let's throw the rest of this salsa on here. And let's throw some mango. So this will be a delicious Mexican. And you guys, there's every packet is zero points, except for if you're going to use that turkey sausage. Oh, I put the jalapenos already. Let's add a little salt. Now your chicken, now whatever meat you use, you want to flavor your meat because as that meat, the juices come out, it's going to flavor basically everything else. I'm actually going to throw some crushed red pepper flakes on this. I do have black beans in the pantry, but you know, a can of them. But I have so much stuff here. I'm not going to open up a can of black beans. It's just way too much food here. So let's see. For this one, we got the we got the peppers. We got the onion mixture. We have the pasta. We have the jalapenos. And let's throw on... Hmm. Let's throw on this chicken. This is grilled chicken that I had made a while ago. And I put it in a freezer bag and froze it. So let's just add this chicken. Yeah, I couldn't even, like, 
go food shopping and fit anything in my freezer because there was just way too much stuff in there. So, why not make packet meals? And then I think I'm just going to put a little bit of Sazon on this. You could add garlic powder, onion powder, whatever. Spice it up however you want. Make it your own. Just fold it over. Crimp it up on the sides. Now let's do like an Italian. So that's three already. I'm going to do one more on camera. I'm going to cook these outside on the barbecue. And they're going to be fabulous. Okay, let's do some yellow zucchini and some green zucchini. Let's do pasta. And this is all leftover stuff or stuff that I just had in the freezer that I had in containers in the refrigerator. And I'm like, let's just get rid of this stuff and look at all these beautiful, delicious meals I'm going to get out of it. So now on top of this pasta, let's throw some of my zero point sauce. Let's throw some of this mixture with the with the onions and the peppers. Let's put some more onions. Yeah, let's add a couple pep this pepper. Why not? And let's do the turkey sausage on this one. This turkey sausage is already cooked, but that's fine. Put it in. As this steams, it'll cook that zucchini. It'll cook that um, what do you call it? The green peppers. And you'll have like a, like a sausage and pepper and zucchini with the red sauce with pasta. So how simple and easy is that? So there you go with that. I love crushed red pepper with that. So let's cook. I'm going to add another zucchini. Because this one feels a little on the light side. Let's add a little black pepper. A little bit of salt. And let's close that up. So I'm just going to continue to make these packet meals. I have a couple more things of foil, but as you can see, you can do any combination that you want. Any combination that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and especially use up the ground turkey and this chicken that's not cooked and yeah, finish up that pasta and I'm just going to make one, two, three, four more. I'm not going to bore you on camera with this. I'm going to start my grill outside. I'm going to put them on the grill. I'm going to show you how that works. And then we're going to open up one and I'm going to have it for lunch. And guys, these are so easy. Make ahead. Perfect for your barbecue when everybody else is eating their burgers and their hot dogs and stuff. Or you can even make these for your barbecue and everybody gets their own packet. They open it up, they dump it on the plate and it's a full meal. So I'm going to finish up here, then clean up my kitchen and then I'm going to show you how these turned out. Okay, so uh, I got my barbecue grill nice and hot. I actually had, had it screaming hot and lowered it down, put all my packets on. Now I'm going to close it's very windy out today. I'm going to close the lid and I'm actually going to let them cook for about 20, 25 minutes on low. And every now and then you can take them and turn them around or move them so that, you know, each packet isn't on the same generated heat, you know, because the flames come up over here and then they don't in the middle. So you don't want anything burning, but yet you want it to steam, you know, very nicely and cook. All right, so we're just gonna close this and we're gonna continue to cook this, like I said, for about 20, 25 minutes. And then I will show you 
I'll bring one in and then I will show you how it looks when it's all done and they're gonna be fabulous. You want your temperature to get up to at least 300, 350. All right, we shall see. We we'll, figured we I would show back. you real quick that I am growing some uh, mescaline mix lettuce in this little wheelbarrow type thing. And then I do have um, more mescaline mix growing over here. So when it really gets big, like, you know, like lettuce, you just... You just come out and you cut it and it continues to grow, grow, grow. And you can have salad all summer long. And then over here, over here, I have my basil pot. So I love to come out and just chop some fresh basil. So you could have basil anytime you want. So that's always good. So yeah, plant your, and I did it right from seeds. So go get yourself some um, lettuce seeds and put them in a bowl and make yourself a nice, we call it a lettuce bowl. And then over here I have my, I just planted that lavender. And then I have my tomato plants growing over here. So I only, my backyard's very small, so I only have four tomato plants, but they're coming up very nicely. And then of course I have to have some peppers, so I have a jalapeno. I have a yellow pepper, I have a red pepper, a cubanella they call them, and then that one's also a yellow pepper. And then, and then over here, I just have some flowers. Over here I have a, am I on focus? Oh, I have a cucumber, a string bean, I have a strawberry, another strawberry, and then over here I have a butternut squash and then right over here I have another lonely cucumber so yeah just a, a couple of things I was able to plant like I said my backyard's very small so I have to at least get my tomatoes in every year and so yeah So let's see, this is almost up to 500 degrees. Mmm, smelling good already. All right, so I'm going to totally lower these all the way on low. They cook really fast, so like I said, only 20 minutes. And you can put anything in them that you want. And yeah, so I'm going to go in, I'm going to clean up that mess of a kitchen, and then I will come out and show you how they look. Okay, guys. So, 20 minutes on the barbecue, shut off the barbecue, turned off the gas, let them sit for about 5 to 10 minutes on there because they were too hot to handle, put them on the platter, and now I'm going to open one up. So, I know which one I want to eat for lunch today because it's already 1 o'clock. So, let me, I'm just going to take a sneak peek. Don't want the one with the ground turkey. And these are so great to make. Like I said, for your barbecues, you could put anything in them and just everybody will get their own little packet. You could put whatever you want inside. You can do pork with rice and barbecue sauce and peppers and onions. You could put any type of sauce you want in it. What is this one? Oh no, I don't want that one. That one is the sausage. And yeah, and you have a nice, delicious meal ready to go. Is that pasta? Yep. All right. So I'm going to open this one. This one has the zucchini. It has chicken, the pineapple, the mango. A little bit of that salsa, I believe, is in there. The peppers, the onions, the garlic. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to open it. Flip it. And look at that. Everything you want in one packet. That mango. All those vegetables, the chicken. Look how beautifully the chicken is cooked. 
and it's super soft and tender. That pineapple, the mango, the garlic. Mm. You have your pasta in there. Some jalapeno. Look how nice the peppers are cooked. Guys, this is a win-win. Put anything in it. Don't, don't be limited. Whatever you have left over in your fridge or your freezer, you want to get rid of. And it's not enough to make a meal. Just combine it all and just make a packet meal. And then dump it out in your bowl and have at it. Look at that. Delicious, tender, juicy chicken because it's steamed. Oh, my word. Yep. So, guys, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to secure all these each in a big Ziploc bag because I'm not going to take them out of the foil. And I'm going to put them all in a big Tupperware and put them in my refrigerator so that whenever I want to have a lunch or a dinner, I have three, four, five, six, seven more meals. I can just dump it into a bowl and heat it up. And if you don't do these on the barbecue, by all means, do them in your air fryer. Put them all on a baking sheet in your oven at 400 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes. There's so many ways you can cook these. But I'm telling you, you're not going to be disappointed. Add your sugar-free barbecue sauce to some of them. You can add your barbecue, uh, I'm sorry, your sugar-free ketchup and spice that up a little bit and put it in. Don't forget, you can put brown rice instead of your zero-point pasta. You could put quinoa, anything. It, it's the, oh my God, it's unlimited what you can do. And however you flavor yours, whatever seasonings, that's how the packet, the vegetable, the pasta, everything's going to taste. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I didn't do the, let me just real quick, because I have people writing, where are you, where are you? Because I didn't do a video last Friday and I didn't do one on Monday. I was very busy on Friday with my niece spring cleaning getting downstairs done. There's still so much that has to go through down there. And then I had a wake to go to Friday night. I never got around to doing a video. My cousin Catherine's father-in-law passed away. And so that's my cousin, you know, her husband's Brian um, from COVID. So that was very, very sad. Young man, only 70, 71, 72, something like that. Healthy, healthy man just passed away from COVID. He was in the hospital for a while. So that was Friday's wake. Monday, so I didn't, I basically didn't do the, the, uh, do the diet on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. And when I tell you I just ate everything in sight, I am not joking. I did weigh myself on Monday and basically gained back the three pounds that I had lost the previous week. So I did videotape myself weighing in on Monday, but now I'm back on again. And, um, so next Monday, which is Memorial Day, excuse me, I'll do a quick, another way in video and include the one from, from this Monday. All right. So yeah, I just didn't have the time and I wasn't doing the diet. So I said, I'm not going to put a video up, but yes, everybody, I'm fine. Thank you for all that were concerned and that wrote because I, uh, <laughs> I just wrote back to Linda Linda Kerr, I believe you say her last name. She's like, I hope you're all right. Miss your videos because I didn't do one last Friday or Monday. So, yeah. No, everything's good. It was just very busy with other life things. And I really didn't do the video. And I had no, uh, I didn't do the diet. So I had no video to show. And, um, yeah, so that, that was all that that was. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. If you're new here. Please hit that subscription button. Please hit the notification bell. If you like these packet meals, I think they're terrific. Please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you follow, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram link in the description. Uh, so follow me on Instagram because I do put on Instagram other things that I don't put in my YouTube videos. So I, I do a lot of Instagram stories and just regular posts on Instagram. So yeah, follow me on my Instagram stories. I don't do them every single day, 
maybe like three or four times a week. <laughs> so you can also follow me there. And yeah, everybody have a great day. I hope everybody has a good Memorial Day next Monday. And well, uh, I'm going to put in the description box. Well, I'll probably do it in Friday's video. I have uh, the video on the baked beans, the potato salad, the pasta salad. So there's all of the videos that you can make for your uh, holiday barbecues that are very Weight Watcher friendly and hardly any points. So yeah, now that I got all that out of the way, everybody have a great day. I'm going to eat my delicious packet lunch. And I hope you make these. And like I said, clean out your freezer, clean out your refrigerator. Do it with all leftovers and you, you can create beautiful meals. All right, everybody. Thanks. And I'll see you all in the next video.